Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create as many levels as you want in your project at once uh, instead of having to constantly go to your sections and duplicate level or, you know, that way. Uh, it's going to be a multi-part. Um, it's going to be uh, a bit. So first I'm going to show you how to create level and then a adding a floor to the level and then I'm going to show you uh, how to create numerous levels and then how to finally change that to just be however many levels as you want and then at the floor to height spacing that you want. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, we're going to go to my test tab. And then this Windows form is going to pop up right here. And then how many levels would you like to add? I'm going to say five. Would you like to spacing to be, I'm going to say 10, and then we hit OK, and then boom, we have 10 levels, or however many levels we said, uh, created, okay, and they're all at 10 foot spacings, right, and they have a little floor on them too, so if we check over here, yep, 10 foot spacing, sweet, or sorry, ele elevation is 10 feet, and that's level 2, yeah, and then all the way to the top, say level six. Okay, so we just added four levels, two, three, four, five, just kidding, five levels uh, with 10 foot spacing. Okay, all right, and of course we have the floors right here too. All right, so. All right, guys, and then from there you can also do, you can also add levels to that, so we do it again. So we go here, and maybe you know, we want to add three levels, and we want them to have 15 foot spacing. And then, boom, those go up there. And we can continue doing that, you know, on and on for however long we want. You know, we can say we want maybe like nine foot spacing. Or sorry, if we want to add, you know, like two levels. And then, you know, maybe you want them at 20 foot spacing. And goes to the top. All right. Let's show you how to do that. Uh, I'm going to shut down and I'll open back up when we're there. All right, guys, so we've opened up. So first things first, right, we're going to go to app. And then we're going to make it so that we can, so copy, place, place, place. And then we're going to import presentation core because we need it for our, our uh, thumbnail image. All right, so that's in, and then everything else is good. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Okay, go to add-ins, and then do the usual commenting this out or deleting it, whichever you pick. I tend to always just comment it out just out of habit for some reason. All right, cool. And then go to command. All right, so uh, levels only need uh, pretty much they just need an elevation to begin with, right? So, uh, so for that we can just do, uh, we just, I think it's an int. So it's going to be, um, int elevation is equal to, and, you know, we'll say 10.0, right? So I'll do our first level that we're going to add, right? And then transaction, or sorry, oops, double. Yeah, and then here we're going to do uh, level level is equal to level dot create, and you're just doing it in the document, and then it needs to be a. And then here's our height that we're gonna place that right, and then that's pretty much it for creating levels, right? So it's pretty basic, straightforward, right? And then. I'm going to hit start, and I'll show you when we are there. All right, guys, so right now we're booting up. This one's in the works. Uh, give me some likes and subscribes, and then, you know, I can, it's more encouraging for me to release this, all right? Okay, so that's not the one we want. That's the one that I've done before. 
This is the one I'm showing you. And these are ones that we've done before. Load family. And then load multiple families. Okay. And multiple families one. Uh, that one will come later probably down the road. Okay. Alright guys, so we just opened up the project, right? Um, and so right now I'm going to go to 3D view. And you can see one level there, right? And that one just comes in with a typical Revit template. So I'm going to go down so you guys can see. And zoom out a little bit. And pan up. Okay. And so this is our button that we made, right? So we're going to go here, my test tab, create a little tutorial button. And boom, there's a second level, right? So it comes in again at 10 feet elevation because that's what we said in our code and then comes in as level 2. You can also change the names too uh, if you want um, and to do that, uh, I'll just show you how to do it right now. Uh, so right here you would go uh, level dot name is equal to, uh, you know, like my new level, right? And that would be it and then that would set your level for whatever you want, okay? All right, uh, I'm gonna shut down now and show you how to add a floor to your level. All right guys, so we're gonna um, add the floor to our level now. Um, so just like kind of like when you're creating a level, right, in Revit actually, or sorry, when you're creating a floor in Revit, right, you gotta create the profile of it first, so we gotta do that. Um, and to do that, we need the points. All right, and then we're gonna hit OK and the check mark, and then the floor is created, right? Uh, so we're gonna do something. We're basically doing that. Uh, we're gonna do that with the code. <clears throat> so uh, to do that, we are going to uh, so lay out coordinates for the to, to make the lines. So we'll say lay out coordinates for profile. Uh, sorry, for profile lines. And then after that, we're going to create lines. Or sorry, we're going to add lines to profile. And then we're going to uh, see set the normal vector and. And that one has its own special note. Uh, and that's going to be uh, the normal vector. It must be per perpendicular to uh, the profile. And then after that, create floor. All right. Okay. So uh, coordinates first, right? So it's pretty basic. Uh, it's kind of similar to what we've done before for the columns and stuff, and the level or sorry, the walls. Uh, and so first, it's gonna be new X Y Z. And then we're just doing point system, so zero, comma zero, comma elevation. All right, because we want the z coordinate to determine how high it's going to be, right? And so then you're going to duplicate this as many times as you want. So for this, one we're going to be doing four times. So this one's going to be second, third, and then fourth. And then these are going to change, right? So First line points at uh, zero, 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 or in this case, zero, zero, going to be 10. And the next one's going to be at, say, 20. And then the next one's going to be at uh, 15. Sorry. 20 over here for this one. And then the last one, the fourth, is going to be 15. Okay. And then, of course, all of these get semicolons at the end. 
otherwise our machine's not happy. Uh, and then we're going to add lines to the profile. And so to do that, we do um, uh, we do curve array. It's not that one. Curve array profile is equal to new curve array. There. All right. And then now we add our lines. So we're going to do profile dot append line dot create bound. And it's going to be our first point to our second point. And then pretty much do that for the rest of them. So this one's going to be second to third. And I'm going to fix my insert and come back. All right, guys, and we're back. And now we're going to do, whoops, we are not balanced. We're going to finish it off with third, and then fourth, and then fourth, two first. Almost done. All right, set the normal vector, and that's going to be uh, x, y, z, and false normal is equal to x, y, z dot basis z. Okay. And then lastly we're going to create our floor. And that is going to be dot dot create dot new floor. And then we're going to, we want to have the profile that we declared. The floor type that we're going to give it. The level it's going to go on and true. Let's see, Oops. normal. Okay, Oop. so we got to get floor type and so to get a floor type right, so Revit comes loaded with floor types usually in their first one, right? So we can just create. A filtered element collector and grab the first floor. And to that, we're going to do so. It's going to be uh, filtered element collector. Oops, just comment that. Grab floor type. Okay. And that one's going to be set elevation. Okay. And this one's going to be. Filtered element collector, collector to new filtered element collector. So we call it dot, and then collector dot of class type of to the floor type that we're grabbing. And then down here we're going to do floor type floor type is equal to collector dot first element because we need to go first element as floor type. Great. Close that off and then everything should be happy and it is. Alright. So I'm going to hit start button, then we'll come back when Rev is up and running. Okay. Alright guys, so we have Rev it still. Uh, not that one. Not this one. Not this one. Not these. Not that. Not that. Okay. Alright guys, so we'll open up a new project. Uh, we're going to go to 3D. Change adjust my view a little bit. 
and then pan it up and zoom out. All right, and then go to my test tab, hit our button, and boom, there's a level with our floor on it, right? And it comes in beautiful, it's everything worked, right? All right, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Um, it's gonna have to split up into parts, uh, part one, I think part two, and potentially part three. Uh, but um, yeah, all right. So the next part, uh, I'll be showing you how to do multiple levels, uh, setting up uh, the Windows forms so that you can get user input, you know, to declare how many floors you want, uh, and then uh, that should be it. Okay, great.